we have this weird news courtesy of art forum turner price 2021 shortlist five artists collectives which they and they aren't really artists right very odd um i've always kind of kept an eye on the turner prize and i've always had kind of um you know uh delusions of grandeur aspirations that I one day win it mostly because i remember the sort of first major contemporary artist i saw um or that i saw sort of recognized back in the day was had to be sarah lucas and then secondly had to be when steve mcqueen <coughs> won the turner prize 999 that's the first time i actually responded or sort of recognized what contemporary art was and from that moment on you know i paint and draw pretty well take loads of great photographs i've done loads of sculptures back in the day loads of things in it i'm probably going to be debuting sometime very soon so watch this space but regardless um i've kind of always kind of kept an eye on it um obviously over the years it's kind of gone through a few changes there you know been some odd selection picks there's been times where people have shared prizes where they probably shouldn't have like some odd things have happened over the years and this is probably one of the final nails in the coffin as to the turner prize and what it actually means for artists and what it means for the artists in what for the art industry overall um there's this new thing where they've selected five artists collectives who none of whom actually paint they're collectives that do a lot of environmental stuff, societal things, structural things, but nothing that involves actually putting paint on a bit of canvas. So, so bizarre, um, considering the history of the Turner Prize and also just an unnecessary change. If you're going to do this, why not just make your own prize? Or why not make another prize that isn't the Turner Prize? Why does it have to be the Turner Prize that gets sort of like ruined to fit this kind of new thing that we're in at the moment it just seems odd especially when you'd want especially when you'd say the one thing that sort of maybe prevents a general consumer from getting into contemporary art nowadays is the lack of actual i wouldn't say skill but the lack of interesting things out there right like there's no one actually doing there's not there's not a lot of people which is why the ones that do pop pop really really big in a big way because most artists kind of suck nowadays, isn't it? There's not a lot of interesting artists themselves as people. Um, you know, the industry is sort of like um, iced out or sort of phased out the quirky, um, against the grain, controversial sort of like artist figure that kind of produces great work. They don't really exist. Everyone's sort of like lukewarm, mayonnaise personality. And then the work itself is fairly forgettable, fairly, fairly forgettable outside of some of the legacy or some legacy, outside of some of the old legends who, you know, display works in some of the bigger galleries. You could go to any number of contemporary art galleries in your city and you probably wouldn't remember any of the work that you saw. It's pretty forgetful. Um, who knows why it is, but if ever there was a need to uphold a certain standard and kind of use the Turner Prize as the overall benchmark for where we are or the litmus test or whatever it may be, it would be now, right? You wouldn't want to lower your standards to fit the current narrative. That's why I wouldn't think anyway, but hey, what do I know? It says, our forum, it says, for the first time since the award's inception in 1984, the organizers of the Turner Prize have announced that the five finalists under the consideration are all artist collectives with no individual artists being nominated. The prize, considered one of the world's most prestigious, is named for the 19th century painter, J.M.W. Um, J. Turner. Obviously, if you're familiar with some of his like, pre-war, war around the world war uh, paintings landscapes of different parts of the uk um you know they're literally incredible you can just sit in front of a turner for a year for hours and hours and you wouldn't be bored and it continues awarded annually to uk visual artists this year's prize was eagerly anticipated as last year's cancelled owing to the covid19 pandemic so after a pandemic they decided to then you know allow five collectives to do it. it's just what one of the great joys of the Turner Prize is the way it captures and reflects the mood of the moment in contemporary British art. Said Tate Britain's director, Alex um, Farouk, is it Farouk? Farouk Harson, Alex Farouk Harson, who chairs the prize's judging panel. After a year of lockdowns, when uh, very few artists are able to exhibit publicly, the jury has selected five outstanding collectives whose work has not only continued through the pandemic but become more relevant as a result. That doesn't even make any sense. So because you're on lockdown, that means you can't paint. If anything, I'll imagine if you're an artist, you've been painting more so now than you have done before because you've been spending a prolonged period of time at home and the times that you were available, able to go out, the first thing you probably did was hit the studio, right? And, you know, great painting comes from great suffering. So if ever there was a time when you could really 
that doesn't make any sense really does it It doesn't really all five groups of shortlists are known for their social activism so let's see what the groups are right i think we've got here on the guardian so the groups are the name of the group we've got boss b-o-s-s -S, is a london-based collective which works across art sound and activism it was formed in 2018 by and for QTBI what QTIB POC queer trans intersex intersex black people of color, bruv. If ever there was a club that I didn't want to be a part of, even if I was, that's the thing. Maybe I'm just against groups and collectives, but uh, maybe being loosely associated to one is fine. Loosely associated to one is okay, but being part of a team and standing in front of a sign or wearing the same t-shirt, yuck. Like, even if I was one of these people, right, if I was part of one of these communities, the last thing I'd want to be is, like, in a group of people with the word boss on a T-shirt. Like, yay, yay, yay. Anyway, it continues. Cooking sections is a London-based duo, Daniel Fernandez Pasquale and Alan Schwab, um, who are essentially food out activists come on. Recent work highlighting the conditions of the farm salmon prompted, um, take, prompted Tate to take it off the menus completely. Yo. Wait, wow, what happened to just being a good at making art? Drawing, making sculptures. <sighs> Gentle Radical was established in Cardiff 2016 and described itself as an artist and others run project with an ethos on that the marginalism is our mainstream. It advocates art as a tool for social change. Judges praise members of the group for their deep commitment to the hyper local community of the Riverside. Okay. Oh, this social justice change thing is dumb but if you really wanted to impact change and you really wanted to represent things that aren't really being looked at or have a be a voice for a pop, yeah be a voice for people that aren't really being heard wouldn't actually making art be the best way to do so putting these people like on front street taking great f pictures of people um painting a landscape depicting something from memory interpreting different stories via art like something that would have been a better way to do the art even in a film piece or something like come on man these groups like what and i'm i don't know and are these people even from the communities that they're purporting to represent or is it just like white trust fund kids who, if they didn't set up boiler room, are now setting up flipping art collectives that, oh Jesus, give me a headache. It continues. Project Artworks is a collective of neurodiverse artists and makers based in eight. Oh my days. So neurodegenerative, people that suffer from neurodegenerative diseases have now formed an artist collective based in Hastings. Judges praise their continued work through pandemic with a possibly passerby able to see examples through the windows of the clothes. Oh my Jesus Christ. Um, Farouk Harris said the idea of focusing collectives that works in Pacific communities to respond to emergencies of our time, particularly life under COVID, is quite particular to our time and I hope people will relate that. Each of these artists works visually in some way or another, in film installation, paintings and so on, as well as being that people sometimes call social practices. So the collectives have some form of painting some form of what you'd say conventionally would be described as art but they're in a collective so there's no way to actually award it to one person uh why don't you just make another prize i don't really understand this i really don't why don't you just make another prize why does it have to be the turn of prize has to get not solid but it is solid with this nonsense i just don't get it man the legacy of it, like the amount of artists that lives have been completely changed from winning the Turner Prize, the amount of, like I said, for me, go, growing up in a really poor neighborhood with no real access to that world at all and seeing somebody that looked like myself, Steve McQueen, on stage, accepted an award for art and then do my research and finding out what he was about, what school he went to, where he was, you know, um, where he was showing, who he's represented by, um, he's, you know, reading interviews, watching his movies, like, that led me to have a lifelong exception of this guy, and also allowed me to understand that, hey, I also could be an artist in my own right, which then allowed me to then go to A-levels and study art, which then allowed me to go to Central Cinema, into study product design, like, all these, if, uh, all these things were informed by seeing that one person that looked at myself on stage, that's that's social change that's enacting change that's giving voice to the voiceless that's inspiring people who probably won't have access to that sort of thing you don't need to be doing this forced clunky nonsense like it just ugh. yeah maybe it's just me maybe it's just